Yeah, I'm not playing today. I'm still having hangovers from yesterday's video. Plus, I just burned my legs, so... Anyway, I've been seeing a lot of best this, best that, da, 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 da. so in this video, it's worst this, worst that. Yeah, a lot of this will look cursed, but it actually works. No, that's a video, god damn, I'm so great. Yes, we're exploring the unholy we're creating more SMGs, cause 50 SMGs just ain't enough for today, Goose, man. But first, shout out to all those secondaries, man. The L car is an SMG, literal. These two, these two are also considered SMGs, I just don't like them. By the way, like and subscribe. Please. Alright, to start off this well-planned video, we got the M4. By the way, this video is convertibles only, no Maddox, no Fafar, none of that sh**. The M4 is well known for being shit ever since release, but due to it having a good BSA nonetheless, converting it into an SMG will mix will make it still talk shit, but with speed. Up next, we got something consistent that offers perfect balance of speed and BSA. The ICR is one of the most easiest gun to use in COD M. Yes, even when you max out the recoil, it still doesn't move a muscle. Despite the buff in speed and nerf in BSA, it can still beam at any range. Compared to the other ARs in this video, it still holds the most accurate status among ARs. The trick with this gunsmith is use it like a CBR or a razor pack. If you use it like a mag 10, then you're dead. At the 8, we got an LMG that actually got a signature attachment a couple of seasons ago. And yes, this attachment makes it a hybrid SMG. It may not have the bare minimum speed of SMGs, but when it comes to a ADSing at straight speed, <laughs> it is absolutely unholy. These attachments offers no downside to the gun's peak for a day. It can still beam across the map while giving you enough speed to challenge up close. It is an absolutely incredible option if you're looking for an headache, so I really recommend you guys to try this out. Now at the 7th spot, we got the Burrito de Kilo de Bulbul de Mamon. It's the Kilo. The Kilo remains one of the best assault rifles this season, especially at range. But for some reason, it still works as an SMG. Not just of the range it still has, also due to the immense speed it unlocked. Bro, first time using this, I... I thought I was I. It was really fast. For 6, we got another LMG and you know why. It's the most used LMG by Sweats. Is the Holger. Same with the UL, it offers no downsides to the gun's forte, it only offers speed. So if you're expecting to rush like a Fennec, then it's not gonna be for you. But if you're a balanced guy, a fun guy, and know how to utilize the strengths and advantages of a gun, then this one is gonna put on the show. Now we move on to number 5. It's none other than the Grosia Bragosia. The street speed goes nuts and not by any cheap standard. The movement Grosia remains accurate in any situation, it is by far one of the fastest strafing ARs in the game. It could be the fastest, I don't know, I'm not your statistics aficionado, I don't know why I'm doing this, to be honest. Fuck. But at number 4, we got one of the most unholiest looking straight out for business. Just, uh, just look at it man. God, I'm pissed. The Grau is the easiest gun to use in God M. Given that fact, whatever you do, make it stupid, make it unholy, make it cursed, it still remains accurate. Again, never judge a cover by its book. If you're looking for an actual MP7, mmm. If you're looking for an actual MP7 feel, this one's it. But you can never go wrong with number 3, and that's none other than the Max Recoil AK-47. This still has zero recoil for some reason, it moves fast, as fast as an SMG, and given that it's an OG gun, it will still be a laser. No bullet or speedo, no recoil aficionado, just a straight demon. It's still 3 taps. Trust. At next is actually the best M13 gunsmith available. No medic, no pay to win, we we'll like it raw. Personally, the look, the look is absolutely stupid, but despite the conjuring look, it still competes competitively in competition. It can still beam, it can outgun the BP for God's sake if you shoot first. But still in this list, this one's my favorite. But of course, number one still the best. For the king of unholy fox, it's gonna be the Type 90. It's not as accurate as the common gunsmith, but if you use it right, it doesn't really matter. It's satisfying, it doesn't move. I actually prefer this one for my personal reasons. But it is in fact the best convertible gun to SMG because it's just that good. Trust. What's your favorite gun in the list?
standing by. Repeat, UAV recon is standing by. 